I love you and you don't know. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new on this channel, thank you so much for coming and I hope you stick around. And if you've been on this channel with me from day one, thank you for sticking around and I hope you, you know, enjoy this video as well. So today, guess what, guess what, guess what, I'm going to be answering all of your questions all of your questions all the questions you you i mean you you watching me have been asking me i'm gonna answer all of it maybe not all of it because there are too much questions yeah i've got so many questions on here i've got two apps for it i've got this one and then i've got the yolo app as well and there are so many questions on there as well so we're just gonna try and answer the reasonable ones and you know and also guys i'm seeing some of these questions i've answered them before on my um get to know me video so if i don't answer your question or you know you've sent me this question i've not answered it probably because i've answered it on my other videos so i'm gonna leave the link down below in my description box just click on it and go watch that um get to know me video and you know get to know me so mm, 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 mm. I want this video to be short as possible so I'm just going to be quick about these questions and no, you know, waste your time because I know you are busy, you're busy busy so let's get into the video. Number one, sorry. So the first question says, what is important for you when you're dating? What is important for me when I'm dating? Mm. Honesty, understanding, and love. Love for each other. So, I feel like them niggas these days, or even them girls these days, lack honesty, to be honest. People these days just lack honesty. Maybe because... We just mean the wrong people, whatever. I don't know, but people are <sighs> honesty is people honesty. If I'm dating someone, I want you to be hundred percent honest with me, and I want you to be understanding. And definitely, we must have love for each other as well, because if there's no love, then what the hell are we doing? Do you get? And if we, if you're not understanding, or if we're both not understanding, what the hell are we doing? Or if we're not honest to each other what the hell are we doing so i feel like these three things are important to me when it comes to dating because it just makes it a whole lot better and uh it leads to a longer and more peaceful relationship as well so yeah moving on so where do you like to go shopping i've answered this question before in my q a video but i'll just go into it real quick First off, I don't, if you know me, you know, I love shopping. I love, I love, love, love shopping, right? And I feel like you're able to get more, more stuff online and for a good price um, than you would on, um, than you would when you go to stores because I love shopping and all this, they know, like I'm always getting discount from all this shopping site. I could apply my discount when I'm shopping and that way I save a little bit of coins so but when I go to shop or store if they're not doing no extra sale then you have to get it for that price and your girl loves sale I love sale because I save money that way so yeah so my favorite store I'm talking then I'm forgetting the question where do you like to go shopping I shop online like I said my favorite stores pretty little thing ASOS misguided um I think those are my three major and um, boo those are my four major go-to stores that I shop online and then if I like I go to other sites as well and if I see something I like I'll just pick it um uh, if 
comes down to shoes and whatnot i shop on um ego Shoe, um public desire all of those you know regular stores because i feel like you can save money on there and you, you can get quality stuff for your money so yeah moving on because i feel like i'm talking too much um this one says are there things on you you want to improve Definitely people. I feel like at this point in my life. I'm not satisfied where I am I know I'm being I'm being selfish or I'm, I might sound silly saying that but where I am I'm, I'm grateful for where I am today. I'm grateful to God for where I am today, but I am not satisfied With where I am today if that makes sense. I want to improve things. I want to move further. I want to change so many things about myself i want to do more do better and you know be successful as well so yeah so many things i would love to change about myself um this one says um tell me what do you love to remember uh that's a funny question but i love to remember good things good memories i don't want to be remembering when you know i was heartbroken or I shed tears or no I don't want to remember none of these bad experiences or bad moments so I love to remember good good things and you know good memories so yeah this one says what do you think about second chances anyways what I think about second chances I feel like if someone deserves a second chance you should and you feel like you you want to give them a second chance you should give them a second chance because I wouldn't say everyone deserves a second chance because some people out there don't deserve a second chance someone that's done you very before or you know and it's not even sorry about what they've done to you or you know or asking for a second chance to make things right with you if someone is not asking for it please don't give it because they would not appreciate it if someone's not asking for a second chance to make things up to you and you're giving them that second chance they would not appreciate it right that they would do that okay maybe worse than before so baby girl or baby boy out there don't give second chances to people that don't deserve it that's it i feel like so what i think about second chances second chances should be given to people that deserve and that deserve it and are asking for it so yeah moving on Ooh. Who is the smartest person you know? Mm, the smartest person I know, God. God first. God is the smartest person I know and I will ever know because we've got all things are possible and all things are perfect. So God is the smartest person I know. Followed by my parents and me as well. I'm smart. I feel I'm smart. I know I'm smart. So I'm the smartest person I know and my parents as well. All right, moving on. I'm sorry if I'm rushing this. I just want this video to be quick as possible so you can get on with your day. Um, I'm, 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 I'm. This one says, what is, your, what is your idea of happiness? My idea of happiness, people. My idea of happiness. Good life or good health. Money and love. That's my idea of happiness. Having a good life, a life full of joy and peace. Secondly, money. I need to have money, people, because apparently without money, you can't get good things. And lastly, love. I need to have a real, I don't know, good, good. I need to find real love, not them fake love you niggas out there are, are, are giving, not, not them fake love, you know, real love, real love that our, our parents experience or have, those kind of real love, I need to have that. So yeah, just have money and do good, have money to be able to give back as well, give back to the world and to people that need it as well. And yeah, last day's life. Every day I wake up, I ask God for life, good life, and I thank God for making me, you know, see the brightness of today's weather. So yeah, those are my idea of happiness. Anyways, this one says, name a person that you admire really strongly currently. The person I admire really, or the person I admire currently, or 
ever or forever yeah and I hope that doesn't change it's not the person the people my parents I admire my parents so much because every day I see them just you know giving their all to us you know I see them giving their all to us and you know going out there to you know make us comfortable and happy and to live a good life so my parents are the people I admire currently before forever now or later in the future those are the people I would forever ever in my entire life admire so yeah moving on what was your favorite TV show as a child? Favorite TV show as a child? Papa I just go. Papa I just go away from me. Manufactured by Malaya Denuga Productions. Nigeria's number one. Give more my chance. Oh my god, if you know that TV show, I loved I loved that that TV show. It was fun. You know growing up we were watching it. Apparently they've stopped the movie like years back, but it was fun, it was interesting, I enjoyed it, I loved it, so yeah. Papa Okay, so I've, yeah, that's my favorite TV show. Apparently, I've just been told that that TV show is still going on, which pff, I need to go check it out. I need to go check it out. I literally thought they stopped because there was a time they stopped it, though, so I didn't know that they continued as well. That's right. <laughs> you got it, baby. Just so, been told that the, the series are still on. So, oh my god, if you don't know it, it's a Nigeria TV show. And oh my god, it's so interesting. I, oh my god, I need to go start watching it. I'm gonna like show you a clip of it, then you know what I'm talking about. What is your name? My name is Miss Lepa. Miss Lepa? <laughs> Lepa Sandy. All right. <laughs> so, Miss, why do you want to be the first lady? Oh, no, like a have you ever seen a girl who would not like to be called governor's wife? That's right. <laughs> you got it, baby. So, walk down like a model. Papa just go away from me. Manufactured by Malaya Denuga Productions. Nigeria's number one. So, yeah, that's my favorite TV show, and I think it's still going to be my all time um, favorite TV show. So, yeah. Uh, what is the next one? This one says, How was your character as a child? My character as a child, um, I was very stubborn, I think so. I was, I, I'm still stubborn, but I'm, I'm going past it. But as a child, I knew I. I didn't want no one to tell me nothing, nada, don't tell me nothing. That was me as a child, which, you know, it's not a good thing. It's, it's never a good thing. So, yeah, well, I think I was a lovely child as well, you know. I need to ask my parents. I need to ask them so I'm not here, like, telling myself this and that and what they think differently so but yeah i think i was a lovely child though like a sweet little girl you know you know what i was just i was a good child period period can't tell me nothing period <laughs> oh my god um the next one do you prefer the fame or the money and why do I prefer the fame or the money and why? To be honest, I prefer... First, let me just say this. Fame is good. It brings money as well. But fame comes with ups and downs. And I think same as money as well. But fame comes with ups and downs. Like, you know. If I can have money secretly... And just be doing my own thing 
I would, I would, I would love them. But if the fame comes, why not? Definitely, like. So when I pass on, people will still remember my name, you know. And I hope people remember me for good that I've done, but not for bad. Because no one's perfect, but so I know the internet now, yeah. It's something else. Talking about money, like people say money is the root of all evil. Mates. Mates. I feel like money is, money, people say money is not everything, but I feel like money is 90% of everything in this world. If you need to get something, you need the money. You need to do something, you need the money. Money, money, money. Give me your money. I need the money, the cash. Give me the money, okay? But yeah, so I think I prefer the money, to be honest. Because for fame, fame comes with money as well. So definitely money is involved in fame as well. If you're famous and you don't have money, like, what the hell are you doing? So, fame and money, money please. Thank you. All right, so moving on. This one says, <laughs> who was the last person you texted? The last person I texted, let me check. Oh, Imago. Imago, you're the last person I texted. Shout out to you. Yeah, I texted you last. So that was the person I texted. Moving on. Tell me, could you live without the internet? Say what again? Excuse, excuse me? What are, you, what, are you, what are you saying? Of course I can't. Like... Do you want me to, to, to be depressed or something? I can't. I can never. I, feel, I can't live without the internet because these days in this generation, I feel like everything is just online. Every information you need, everything you need to check, everything you need to know, browse, everything is on the internet. So you need internet for that. I feel like I can, I can reduce the way I use it, or I can go a certain hours or days without it, but not for a week. Not for a week. Not no. Not for a week. Even two days, that's me stretching it. That's me stretching it for two days. So, I don't think I can live without the internet. I'm sorry. If you're the one asking me that question, I can't. Alright, moving on. This one says, do you open up to other people easily? Do I open up to other people easily? No. That's a big fat no. I don't open up to people. Like, some people will tell you, oh, she, she's, she doesn't talk. She's quiet. Yo, I'm not I'm not even close to being quiet. If I'm quiet around you, it's just we we're, we're not bouncing off each other. Like the vibe is not there for me to open my mouth and speak to you. But if you know me, you know I talk. I talk a lot and I love to insult people. It's just the way I love to communicate. So yeah. I don't open up to people easily, like no, I must definitely get to know you first and see if we bounce off each other and if the vibe is there and yeah so on and so forth but yeah i don't people not that not at all all right let me just i need to speed this up i need to speed this up this one says what what was the silly rumor someone spread about you you said what no 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 you said what <laughs> I'm joking guys literally I, I can't remember to be honest like if I hear you say something about me be ready to say in front of me right be ready because I'm gonna call you the fuck up and tell you the fuck is wrong with you what am I hearing what have I done say it to me right but yeah I don't I, I literally can't remember or maybe I've just not heard anything yet if someone is spreading rumor about me i've not heard it and i hope i don't because if i do be ready to answer to me right right you talking about me you talking about me let me know hear it right let me know hear it period if you know you're gonna say something on my back be ready to say in front of me if not we're gonna have a problem but with that being said no i've not I've not had any rumor yet or oh, I can't remember. I don't like to keep such negative words or things in my head. I've got a lot of things to think about, like how to be successful and how to make good and clean money. 
so if i'm not benefiting from you or you're not contributing to my life whatever you say is going in here and it's coming up the other way like it's not stuck on here anyways moving on uh, what's the worst nickname someone has ever called you that actually stuck the worst nickname worst so my name is Benita Ine and there's this person that back in Africa used to call me Benikonkum what? <laughs> Benikonkum what kind of name is that? like it's funny it's like what kind of that's the worst nickname ever but it's funny and it's stuck because some people still call me that like apparently Benikonkum what is Benikonkum? Benikonkum Benita Mm -mm 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 -mm. they even made a song i think like that's the worst nickname ever and please 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 don't you call me that name my name is benita when you call me benny don't call me benny come come what is come come where did the come come enter where come come enter please don't call me come come benita or benny thank you so much it's only one person not one person a few people that call me that name back in africa and they're like way older than me so i can't complain because i know it's just they just find it funny and it's funny as well when they call me that name it's like oh i remember this song Beni Konko benita you go show or got fire <laughs> oh my god anyways moving on um all right so i think i'm gonna go on the other app and answer a few on this one maybe one or two on there right all right so this one is not actually a question but this person says i love you and you don't know <laughs> thank you so much for loving me and I love you right back wherever you are I don't know you because this is if you know this is an anonymous thing I can't see people messaging me and whatnot but I'm seeing all your questions but I can't see the, the names so if you're the one out there loving me I love you right back this one says <laughs> this is not really a question but yeah it says why are you so pink why am I so pink I think you need to ask my, my mom why. Ask my mom why why she made this this beautiful thing. Alright? Ask my mom or my parents. They 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 made me. They made this. This you like it, they made it. So I think you should ask my parents and God ask God as well. <laughs> but thank you so much for that. And me I think I'll be answering the last one because, like I said, I don't want this video to be too long. Um, this one says, tell me about your worst date. Um, uh, worst day, worst day. Oh, we think we went out for, uh, for food didn't he? went to a restaurant so we this is the different story time but it's a long story short he was just talking and talking too much like i'm like oh my god i just i need to i need to go home i gotta go i got to go gotta go it was everywhere it was talking too much like i wasn't enjoying it it was just all about him and i just i left i left way earlier than i should so i think that's the worst day ever um all right all right all right people there's so many more questions here i think i'll be doing part two and also if you still got a question for me and if you've watched my get to know me and you've watched this video as well and you still have a question for me don't forget or don't don't hold back send it to me and i'll be doing another video answering all of your questions sorry i'll be answering all of your questions so yeah who is this person who is who is this person 
This person is saying, please be my girlfriend. Are you serious? I don't know you, so no, I can't be your girlfriend, okay? No, thank you. No, thank you. I don't, I don't know you. Anyways, guys, I think I'm just going to end it there. You know? Anyways, guys, that's the end of the question. Thank you so much for sticking around and, you know, watching all of this. I love and appreciate every single one of you watching me right now. And those of you that have already subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. And I just want to say mm, mm, to all of you, like, the support I'm getting. Like, so many of you are reposting my channel and, you know, oh my God, you're, like, being so supportive. Like, I can't, I can't leave you. Like, I'm, I'm... Thank you so much. So, keep subscribing. Let's get to 300 subscribers, guys. Keep subscribing and, you know, tell your friends and family as well to subscribe, like, and also watch my videos. Also, follow me on my social media, my Instagram and my Snapchat. Like, I'm on my Instagram every day and I try as much to keep you lot updated. So, follow me, alright, and watch my videos. Thank you once again and I, I love love and appreciate every one of you out there so thank you so much bye